Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you all are fine. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new on this channel, kindly subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for the next videos. In this video, we will learn how we can draw UV graph on the origin software by taking the data from the UV prop software. And then we will make this uh, zoom file on the origin software for the UV graph. And then finally we will go to the PowerPoint and uh, combine both of these graphs and make the diff of that. So first of all we will open the UV prop software file. Uh, in the file go open and uh, open the file that you have taken from the UV prop software earlier. Open it. You can see the file is open here. So we want its text file to draw a graph on the origin software. So we will open its text file by right click. This dialog will be open. Click select all. Then right click and click copy. Now go to the origin software. Open origin software, paste the data here, select both columns and plot the line graph. So you can see the graph is here. You can edit the graph according to your choice. So click double click x axis to change the x axis. Click click labels, go to format, change the font size, you can also change the font style here, I am ok with the default layer. So size 36 is good for article but you can also change the size here too. Click bold, go to line and bricks, line and text and uh, go to thickness, select 2 and press ok. Similarly, we will change the y-axis to double click y-axis, go to scale, change the scale according to your choice. Click labels, click format, change the font size. Change the thickness and click OK. Double click the graph to change its color and its width. Three look good. Click OK. You can also change the variables name here. For the UV graph which you write the wavelength on the x axis. Select it and change your size. 36. Click bold. You can also change the position. Similarly, we will write the y-axis name that is absorption. Sorry, absorption. You can write the name of the compound here.
you can change the position of this in this logo because here we will uh, attach the zoom graph on the powerpoint so you should change the position of the name here you can also remove the box here right click go to properties go to frame click box and click none press ok so i think graph is looking good then you now you can make the tiff file go to file export graph open dialog change your image type tag image tiff you can also change the name of the graph select the path I'm also selecting we have already used this in the path so this is mentioned here you can change the path um, by selecting clicking this three dots box and change the path so after selecting the path click ok now what if we make now we will make the zoom graph in the uv graph this is the Q band area and these are sorry this is the solid band area and these are the Q bands area so uh, mostly we uh, attach the zoom file of the uh, solid band area so we will uh, make its zoom file double click x axis and change its scale go to scale and select the zoom area Click OK. I think this looks good. You can also minimize the from this side and this side too. So remove the after making the zoom file, you will remove the box here. You will remove the y-axis. Click the y-axis and you delete it. Select and delete it. Simple. We want this portion only. So again, go to file, make it a file. Go to export, open the log. Image type if file name h1. You can also change its name. Select the path and click OK. So now you know, we can. See, we have both zoom file and original file. Now open the PowerPoint. Select the diff files. Control C, copy, and then paste here. Control V. So arrange the position of this file first here. So we should remove the access area. Here go to format. Crop it. Presentation is very important for the article. So your images should be very very accurate and look good. Because they will prove your data is correct or not. Go to format again, click crop, and your image will be cropped. So, first set the position of this main graph, and now select the zoom file, control C, copy it, 
go to powerpoint and control v paste it again crop the access part of this graph Crop it and set the position of this graph. Okay. okay, you can go to insert, go to shapes and make the crowd this picture beautiful as you can you can do this arrow connect it you can change the color of this arrow this is no fail. You can change the outline. I think this will work. So you can, if you have multiple graphs, then you can uh, write the shift here. The either red shift or blue shift. You can write here. In the next video, uh, inshallah, I will tell you about how you can draw the multiple graphs. So I think this is enough. You know, you will make the TIFF file of it. Go to file. Save as, go to your folder, select save as type, tag image, diff tag image, click save, just this one. can see so this is the tiff file with both graphs original graph and zoom files attached here when you go attach it to the word file you can also crop the success part and uh, present it to the article if you like this video kindly press the like button and subscribe my channel thank you so much